Hello and good evening. We're Veruca Salt. I'm Nina. I'm Louise. And our absent members are Stacy and Steve. They're busy. And our other present member is Michelle the Frog. She plays the mandolin. And um, we are here for the next three hours playing our favorite videos of all time. So stay tuned on Rage because you're going to see the best videos you've ever seen. Because we have the best taste because of music. Because we are the best. Do we mention we're from Veruca Salt, that incredible post-punk, post-grunge, post-feminist, alternate brat, buzz bin baby, amazing four-piece outfit of rock from Chicago, Illinois? That's who we are. And we're here to party with you. <laughs> All night long. So strap in. <laughs> Hi. So, um... We're so pleased to be in Australia, the home of ACDC, which I understand, I think here they call them Ekadeka or something, which is really strange, because I've never heard that before. But anyway, we're going to play Back in Black, which is obviously just the classic, most excellent rocking tune of all time. It's the kind of song you, you just cherish when you hear it in your car, and you're parking your car late at night, you can't find a parking space, and you're so psyched it comes on the radio, you crank it up to 10 and you just rock and everybody knows every second of it and the guitar solo and everything. So no song kicks better more, ass. Yeah, no song kicks more ass than Back in Black. So here they are, your countrymen, <laughs> Akadeka. Hello, I'm Nina. I'm Louise. And this is Michelle. She's new in our band. She plays the flute. Um, what song are we introducing now? I can't um, really remember. Let me think very closely. Uh, what, what? Oh, Local H. Oh, Fritz's Corner. This song rocks really hard. These so. are good friends of ours. Yeah, be careful. Be careful watching this video. Be careful, it might jump off the screen and, and kill you. We toured with Lil H in the States for about three weeks. And, um... Oh, and that guy Scott Lucas is really cute. And there's only Scott Lucas and the drummer, Joe. And it's just a two-piece, and they rock so hard live, it's incredible. Scott plays somehow, manages to sound like there's a bass player with his rig, but there isn't. And, um... They, they put on a great show. But the most important thing is that I just broke up with my boyfriend, and he just broke up with his girlfriend, and we both live in Chicago. <laughs> so who knows? This is local age. I think if you don't like Hyperbelly by Bjork, you're a loser. What do you think, Louise? <laughs> I think this is one of the most beautiful songs ever, Hyper Ballad. And I think a woman may have felt this way, like lying in bed with your boyfriend and you get up early and you want to just like go hurl yourself off a cliff and then <laughs> come back and, and do all of that so you can be safe again. There's something so basic and so beautiful and pure about this song and so sad. I think it's gorgeous. Hyper Ballad, Bjork. This next video is a video that we made that we would not allow Americans to see but we will allow you Australians to see it. I was horrified by this video, quite frankly, when, um, when it came back to us after we made it. I well, she had a panic attack. I thought she it was rejected lame. it. I thought it was super lame. But now, in retrospect, years later, I can look back and go, oh, that's lame. You can, <laughs> you can look back at it and go, God, I look like I was about to faint throughout the whole video. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, you, you are the lucky few. This is number one blind by the incredible band Veruca Salt. Hi, I'm Cheech. And I'm Chong. We're from the band Cheech and Chong. The next song is by the Cocteau Twins. It's called Carolyn's Fingers by Elizabeth Frazier, who is the singer for the band, who has the most, one of the most beautiful voices ever, certainly in all of pop history. And um, the song rules. Enjoy it. Carolyn's Fingers. Bye. Before we came to Australia, our friend Evan Dando gave us a list of all the things we should do in Australia because he's a big fan of this continent. And um, let's see, what did he tell us? He told us a list of all the drugs that we should take. No, he told us um, that in Sydney we should go to Bondi Beach, possibly take acid in the Bronte Cemetery, which we opted not to do. Um, Melbourne, I can't remember, St. Kilda and some s slow roller coaster or train, some scenic train we were supposed to take, which we didn't do. Um, what else? He said Brisbane kind of sucks, and he said Adelaide is very creepy. Very creepy is what he <laughs> said, but we like Adelaide. We have a whole little list. And we he told us to watch out for funnel web spiders and redbacks and brown snakes. And by the way, we love Evan Dando. And Juliana Hatfield, who sings the...
goes along with him. And this is a beautiful song about sad people who have sad addictions, but it's a lovely song. It's called Drug Buddy by the Lemonheads. Hi, I'm Louise. And I'm Nina. Did you get a nose job or something? Yeah, during the commercial break. When I we go a nose out. Job. Huh? I was going to say that when we go out in Australia, we really rage. I mean, we don't just rage, we rage. We R A G E, rage, rage, rage against the dying of the light. We get so <laughs> oh, raged that. I'm enraged it's right now. Are you enraged? Yeah. God, it's weird because I just got engaged. I think that's an outrage. When I get when I get really really mad, yeah. I feel rage. You do? Yeah, like this, like ah! like that kind of rage. That's outrageous. I know. It's just <clears throat> it's just the way that I express my rage. Hey there. The next video we're gonna play is "Dirty Mind" by Prince. "Dirty Mind" is the title track from Prince's record "Dirty Mind," which was the second album which Nina and I adore, one of our favorite records by him. And he made this record on an A-track, and these were his demos, and he brought them to the record company, and they just put out the record. I guess everyone just thought it was so good as was. And if you don't know this record, you must know it. It's Prince at maybe one of his best moments. It's also marks our sexual awakening, right, Nina? Right. Or at 16, driving around in your mom's car with a beer in your hand, <laughs> listening to Dirty Mind. Checking yourself out in the rearview mirror. <laughs> I did that. Okay? Prince, dirty mind.